Hi, I'm Alex Guarnaschelli. I am the chef at Butter Restaurant in Midtown Manhattan, and in fact, we're here. And we are going to make a one of my absolute favorite recipes from my cookbook. And it's not food, it's a drink. Sometimes a great meal or a great idea for eating actually starts with a drink and then goes to what kinds of snacks or meal we want to have with that drink. That's a lot of why I have such a big chapter of cocktails in my cookbook. I find I'll make a drink, I'll be in the kitchen, I'll start cooking. The more you drink, the more those ideas flow, the more the food kind of becomes inspiring and it can all start with a good cocktail. I love anything um, icy and cool and refreshing and this is kind of Moscow Muley in that family of drinks. We're gonna almost overfill these glasses with crushed ice. And this is something you can do at home in advance. Crush a lot of ice in advance. I wrap up ice cubes in a towel and just hit it with a rolling pin. And it can be kind of coarsely crushed because it'll melt when you pour the drink over it. See, that's a fun way to begin. And, it, and in these cups, it gets super cold quickly. So let's talk a little bit about flavors that get the appetite going because that's really what I think a drink should do. It should stimulate lots of eating and lots of enjoyment. So two things that I find are really good appetite stimulant or things that I really love are fresh ginger. I just think it's so zingy and refreshing. And when you start to taste ginger in your mouth, you just want more. You want to eat potato chips, you want to eat cake, you want a hot dog, you want barbecue. Ginger just gets the palate going and fresh lemon. And those are two of the ingredients in this drink and vodka. Something like this can be an alternative to your classic dirty martini or whatever else. And it's sweet, but it's also super tart and not overly sweet. So you can put this cocktail anywhere. You can park it at the beginning of a meal or even towards the end. I start by making a ginger simple syrup. I just mix together equal parts of sugar and water in a small pot on the stove. A cup of sugar for a cup of water. Simmer them until the sugar dissolves and then cool it. Then we stir in just freshly grated ginger, which is just so great, and lemon juice from two lemons and the zest of the lemon. Super important to get the lemon peel into your drink. It gives it that bitterness. So how do we measure? You know, cocktail measurement can depend on what kind of day you've had. I'll be honest. We all know this is true. So if you've had a rough day, pour the vodka first and everything else second. If you're in a more sophisticated mood, start with this ginger syrup. You want to pour per cocktail, per drink, about a third of a cup. And just pour that over the ice. And you see, as I'm making this drink, the ice is starting to melt, starting to take on those flavors of lemon and ginger, which are both kind of zingy and tangy, mixed with the sugar and the water. This is making my mouth water. If you wanna be fancy pants about the whole situation, you can take a little bit of extra lemon zest and just put a little bit on the ice for a little texture. You don't have to do it, but you know, if you wanna do that little chefy touch, sometimes entertaining or going to the next level in your entertaining can just be about a few little details that people say, oh, I would have never thought of that. And then the vodka. A nice clean vodka, not a flavored one, just straight vodka, equal parts. It's a super simple drink to make, but it banks on good ingredients, and that's why it's simple. Just lemon, ginger, sugar, water, vodka, see you later. If you start to do stuff like add canned lemon juice or add candied ginger or some leftover pickled ginger you have in the back of your refrigerator from your last delivery of sushi, the drink changes. You really just wanna have some fresh lemon and fresh ginger. The sugar, the water, and the vodka kind of hang in the balance of these two super fresh ingredients. Little lemon wedge. So what kind of things would a chef, a finicky chef like me pair with this? I definitely picked some other snacks, bar snacks from my book to go with this. For example, I love, I have a recipe for warm bar nuts. You just toss together in a little bit of oil and fresh herbs, some mixed nuts, and just serve it warm. Another great pairing, little stuffed peppers. You can obviously buy these jarred and just stuff them with a little bit of herbs and goat cheese mixed together. Thank you for following along. You can 
mix this drink at home. You can get a copy of my book and shamelessly make the recipe and pretend it's your own. I won't tell anybody.